Hello, welcome back. Ag <laughs> Hello, welcome back again, guys, to another episode of All the Mods 8. So, for today, <clears throat> what we are going to do is we're gonna upgrade our um, power generation and also finish our quest line in Mechanism. So, let's get started. So during our last episodes, I made a mistake wherein when we go to uh, the deep dark and then enter the portal, I called it as a other. But that is not the other. The other is when you place a teleport pad in the nether, then go into it, that is where the other is. So... The one in the deep dark has a different name and that is not the other. So I stand corrected. Also, in between episodes, I created this site. This unobtainium site and then went to the end and collected some unobtainium. As you can see, we have 61 of them and we can double it using our hammer. But I will not use that for now. I want to make sure that we can uh, be efficient when using it. Because once we completed our mechanism, we can do 4 times ore processing. There you go. So first is... Uh, let me get here. So this is the mod that I will use bigger reactors as you can see we can create or produce power by using reactors but I need a place to set this up um, I'm thinking to create a pathway here extend this up go upwards just like the other platforms uh, I'm currently using the blue green purple i'll use the red wood there you go so i'll do it off cam i'll be right back once it's finished all right so our base is now finished our floor rather and it started to rain great so let's get started with bigger reactors first we need the uh, is reactor casing in order to do this we need some graphite some iron I don't know how many uh, we need but let me get a decent amount of this let me get a whole stack there you go next is reactor fuel rod um, let's just make two of these there you go and one control rod then some redstone port no that's not it here power tap there you go next will be this one access port and then let me see some terminal yep I need that terminal there you go last but not the least we need some reactor glass we need about six there you go six okay, let me place all of it here let me remove this there you go all right in order to place this i will make it just the basic one so uh, a three by three structure there you go and i'll make it too high there you go not too high that's four right four yep four make it four high place the blocks around here 
go let me remove this place the fuel rod inside right there there you go and then the control rod right here next will be the terminal should be right here access port let me place that right here and then the power tap will be right here so i guess we made too much uh reactor glass but that is all right oh we need one here there you go so in order to power this we need some uranium where we can access it here so i believe we need another output I remove that we need to create another output here this will store or output the waste that this will create uh, yep that's correct this is the input there you go all right so we need to have some uranium in order to test this out there you go i'll place it how can i place it can i use a hopper i don't have any hopper can i use this this one let me get some chest um this is enough or barrel do you have any barrel i don't have but this will be enough place that there then place the uh, chest over here filling up so let's try to power it there you go so we're producing um, 1.6 K KI RF per tick let me get my energy cable then this try to place it here then place the flux plug right above i can go up here there you go Okay, so I guess that's keeping up. Um, let me remove this. Yep, let me remove this. There you go. And then I will plug something here. Or you know what? let me just move everything let me get all this move this also here we go so i moved my applied energistics and iron furnaces right here i also removed the cables from um this uh solar generator and wind generator I will remove this beam here maybe later um, what I'm gonna do is let me try to charge up my jetpack so that it will have a full power I think it will take some time so um, all of this 
storage or all of this energy will be wasted if we're not gonna use it so I want to store everything of the energy that it'll, it will create however we have a only a capacity of 6.4 mfe I search for a energy cube from mechanism and I can see here that we can create an creative energy cube that don't have any capacity so it has infinite in order to create this we need to have some unobtainium block we have this so I don't need to worry I can just find it anywhere but in order to create this we need to have some ultimate energy cube and elite we already have the advanced one so I need to create this elite energy cube which has this recipe and then the ultimate which has this and then the creative has this let me go ahead and craft everything first then I'll get back once it's finished well guys it looks like I need the mistake so in order for it to have an infinite capacity we need to create four of them and then an ATM star and then energize it by using 2 billion FE damn well I guess I'll stick back to what I have let me just replace it here replace that There you go, so it will transfer all my energy there. Damn, so I cannot use this for now. What I'm going to do is I will create the second to the highest, the ultimate uh, energy cube, and then place it right there so that it will have uh, more capacity. Okay, now that I have the ultimate energy cube, let me place that here. There you go. So this should transfer everything. Uh, let me change the config first. Let me just place it in input and output on every side. There you go. So it's not storing energy because my jetpack is not yet full. Once it's full, it will um, store the energy that is being generated by our generator all right so our quest line in um, mechanism as you can see here um, let me just claim this first everything here right here we need an chemical and in injection chamber this is the recipe so we need a purification chamber do I have that I have that right here let me get that so it needs um, foreign reinforced iron alloy and then elite control circuit let me get that first and I'll be right back okay so now that I have the elite control circuit and the reinforced alloy we can now create the chemical injection chamber there we go all right so uh, next in our quest line is to create a thermal ev evaporation plant so water turns into brine then we need the chemical infuser so in order to create this we need some advanced control circuit some stained glass and some thermal evaporation evaporation block in order to create the evaporation block we need some steel ingot some copper there you go do you have them do you have steel I have six of them but that is not enough okay, so I need to create 37 of them some thermal ev evaporation valve and this controller okay so I have all the ingredients ready so we can now create the thermal evaporation controller um, let me open this up 
then why cannot why can't I auto craft it? Uh, there you go. So we need the block thermal ev evaporation block. I need I believe thirty something. There you go. Is that it? Thirty-seven. Need a little bit more. There you go. And then I need the thermal evaporation valve. There you go. And then lastly would be oh we need two of them. Uh huh. There you go. And then one controller right there. There we go. So it says here that um, to get hydrogen chloride for our machines, we'll need to first create brine. To do this, we need a thermal evaporation plant, blah, blah, blah. To start, create a 4x3x4 four by by four structure that is hollow in the middle, except for the base. Okay, let's do that first. Uh, let me remove all of this. There we go. So let me see, does it need any power? Let me check the quest. So pump in water and you'll start collect brine, which can be pumped into an electrolytic separator to extract chlorine from the gas. So we need to pump some water, there you go. So it's currently getting some water from our sink. And then, after quite some time, I believe this will produce brine. Okay, let's get back to that later. It says here that uh, we can heat up our brine production. So we can use some fuel food heater. So it needs lava. The resistive heater, resistive heater, uses RF or FE to produce heat. You can be set to use whatever RF or FE you want to use. So we can create this resistive heater. Let me see how to craft that. Here you go. So it's not that much. We can create it tablet uh, there you go let me create some plug also that's a plug right oh I need the point not the plug there you go then oh oh yeah 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 then let me place where is that huh shall I just place it here would that be alright 300k Let's place some power. There you go. So it's currently at 160k and it's going up. Let me try to bump it up to 100. Let me see if it will make any. Huh. Can we place this evaporation right here? Then let me see if that will make a diff. Yup, it will make a difference. There you go, it's creating brine much faster now. It's using 400 Fe per tick. Let me see our power here if it's going down. Right here. Nope, it's still producing enough. Scoping up with the power, power loss. 
there you go so that is finished next will be this one chemical infuser let me create that there you go was completed so this machine combines two gases to create a new gas you'll need this to combine chlorine with hydrogen to create the hydrogen chloride which, which then used in our chemical injection chamber okay five machines ready then chemical dissolution chamber I need that there you go hmm okay uh, let me create the easy one first two basic tanks then it needs some ultimate control circuit which I don't have and refined obsidian ingot so in order to create that I need some osmium some refined obsidian so that we can have the ingot itself we need the dust so let me do that here off cam and I'll be right back again alright so now our refined obsidian ingot is already finished we can go ahead and craft this chemical dissolution chamber I just need some steel casing there you go all right dump them all here things that I don't need there you go so I set up a, another electrolytic set separator here so I took the water from the sink run it behind our thermal evaporation plant then route it back here there you go so it's creating oxygen and hydrogen which we can use later also made this osmium compressor because the one that I have got lost I don't know where it went so I created it all right next will be also created this ultimate control circuit and this one there you go I'll just claim all the quest all right next will be a rotary condenser or chemical oxidizer huh um wait let me get my unobtainium here so what can we do to make it for so it needs chemical injection chamber do I have chemical injection chamber I have it right here so let me place that here first right over here because this is the first place where it will go and it will use some um, hydrogen chloride there you go hydrogen chloride needs to have hydrogen and some chlorine in order to make chlorine we need a decon this one electrolytic separator um, here you go here goes the brine so the separator takes the brine um, so I need to create another one of these so let me replace that uh, let me place that right over here there you go so uh, the brine will be transferred over here there you go then let me hook it up with some power I don't have any cables place some power there we 
There you go. I can just remove this. There you go. So this will create chlorine and sodium. Right. Hydrogen and chlorine makes hydrogen chloride. So chlorine is here, hydrogen is right here, and we need we need chemical infuser to make it work. I have it here. We can place the chemical infuser infuser right. Okay, so everything is working now. It looks like that I need to configure the gases, not the items. So basically, chlorine is a gas. And hydrogen is also a gas. So they need to be configured as a gas. Alright, so now we are now creating hydrogen chloride. There you go. And this hydrogen chloride will be placed inside a chemical injection chamber do I have that here we go so let me place that right here so this should accept our input right there on the left and output for the gas will be here blue on the right there you go let me place some power Then, I can now place the ore side here. This shard can be used inside a purification chamber. So we need a purification chamber. We have that. So it needs oxygen. Do we have any oxygen? We have right here. So let me get that oxygen let me replace my power supply is it right here take some fluid pipe can I have it oh it doesn't need fluid pipe it need it needs gas pipe there you go let me get my wrench let me remove this remove that go will that take the oxygen gases output cyan there you go so it has oxygen so it will be placed right here this clump can be used in a crusher so we need to have some crusher right here there you go so it will be outputted um, item should be output right here then the blue one should output right there this should input right there there you go so it will crush the unobtainium there you go so the dust can be used in an enrichment chamber place that right there then give it some power it will turn into dust and dust can be used in a smelter but I don't want to use a smelter. I want to use a furnace. Place that right over here. This should be outputted on the front. There you go. And this will take it if we have the augmentation. So place them all here. There you go. Auto sort give it some power then should take input in the back 
There you go. There you go. So we've created a four times or processing. I guess everything is fine. Let me try some other ores. Let me try to have this vibranium and also um, the, all the modium. Uh, don't have it anymore, but let me try this one. Place that over here. There you go. So this is the start of the process. The injection chamber will use hydrogen chloride for it and then transfer to a purification chamber and then placed into a crusher and then transferred to an enrichment chamber and then here in our netherite furnace and we got a vibranium ingot very cool so one raw ore gives us four ingots how about iron ore or this one ancient debris can we use this crusher enrichment smelter so we cannot use this. It only needs to be placed in a crusher. Cannot place it in the other ones. Crusher, enrichment chamber and so crusher enrichment then smelt it. So will be placed here then transferred over there and then to this furnace does it output oh so the items that can't be outputted to the netherite furnace will stay here well I guess I won't make that a problem for now if I place something here that can't be used in the furnace I'll just get it manually um okay before I end this session, I want to play some upgrades on our equipment over there. Let me go back to mechanism. Then as you can see here, we can create a factory upgrade if I can find it. Here, I believe this is it. Basic tier installer. Let me try this. Let me try to upgrade our let's just say our injection chamber here can we right click on this shift right click there you go so it increases our storage can i use it here i don't think so so i need to create uh, one two three uh, four and five yep five more here we go then upgrade this 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 and these two there you go so it will increase the space of machine so it has three now can we go further can we increase it more advanced here oh but I need seven or six rather there we go, so we have 5 slots now. Then we need some upgrades for it. Uh, we need some speed upgrade. There we go, so all of them has upgrades now. So let me get some ores to test this out. Okay, so uranium can be placed in an injection chamber. Iron ore also gold ore well i guess that's it how about some resonating ore no just energized smelter there you go so we cannot use oh we have all the modium here can we use those yep we can use those also so let me get all of this and then uh let me just dump everything here that i don't need Blasting is that for this one? Yep. Let me place everything here. There you go. So it's gonna use up a lot of chloride. So 
it's getting low pretty quickly so I need to upgrade this and also the brine looks like I need to upgrade this or upgrade this fluid pipe but as you can see we are doubling the ore right here sorting's on should turn on the sort there we go this one also sort this on place there and it will be outputted in this gold chest so let us see how much all the modium ore will have once this is finished all right so everything is finished now so we've produced 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 stacks of all the modium ingot from four stack ore that's great so it is working the four times ore processing by using this um, factories do we have all those system here in mechanism although it takes some time because I don't have any upgrades from them yet but that's all right so I'll do that in between episode I will upgrade everything so let's transfer all the all the modium ingot right here in our system so guys I believe this is it for this episode so we've created all of these things from me mechanism so that we will be efficient in making our ores or converting our ores into ingots so i hope guys you enjoy it and if you do kindly hit that like button below and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel you can always do so by clicking on clicking on that red sub button below it will help me a ton and i will appreciate it so thank you guys for watching, have a great day ahead of you, bye bye.